I've been playing the Ibanez Genesis collection for a while now, and I've got to say, it's a solid guitar. The neck is super thin, which makes it easy to move your fingers quickly. It's made from a mix of maple and walnut, and it feels nice and smooth to play. The body's made of basswood, so it's not too heavy, which is great if you plan on playing for long stretches. The fretboard is maple with simple black dot inlays, and it gives the guitar a clean, straightforward look. The tremolo system works well, it stays in tune, even if you use it a lot. The pickups give you a good variety of sounds, so you can go from bright and clear to heavy and distorted pretty easily. The neck is thin, especially around the 1st and 12th frets, which is awesome for fast playing. What I like is how versatile it is. Even though it's great for metal, you can still use it for other styles of music. The pickups give you a lot of different tones, which is handy if you're not just sticking to heavy music. It's a well-made guitar that's easy to play, especially if you're into faster styles. I've enjoyed using it, and it's become one of my go-to instruments. I've been playing around with the Yamaha Pacifica, and it's been a pretty good experience. The guitar has a solid alder body, which gives it a balanced feel. The maple neck and rosewood fingerboard are smooth and comfortable, making it easy to play for long sessions. The sound options are a big plus. With a five-position switch and coil tap, I could easily shift between different tones, from mellow to bright. The vintage tremolo is fun to add some vibrato, though it's not the most stable if you're going for it. At just over 11 pounds, it's light enough to hold comfortably. The finish is a classic look that isn't too flashy. The build quality feels solid, especially considering the price. It doesn't have any cheap feeling parts, which is nice. If you're starting or need a reliable guitar to practice on, the Yamaha Pacifica does the job well. It offers a good range of sounds and feels nice to play. When I first tried out the PRS SE Custom 24, it felt solid and comfortable in my hands. The maple top with a shallow carve and the mahogany back gives it a nice balance and weight. The maple neck is thin and wide, which makes it easy to move up and down the rosewood fretboard, and I like the look of the bird inlays. The 8515S pickups have a lot of range. Adjusting the volume and tone controls, I could go from a clean sound to something more powerful. The push-slash-pull tone control and the three-way pickup selector give many options, and the tremolo bridge feels smooth when bending notes. The neck is comfortable, and the guitar is easy to play, even for long periods. It feels good whether I'm playing chords or leads. The guitar seems well-made and ready for everyday use, whether you're playing at home or taking it out for gigs. Overall, the SE Custom 24 is a solid choice for anyone who wants a guitar that's easy to play and can handle different music styles. The included gig bag is handy for keeping it safe while traveling. I've been playing the Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s, and it feels like a well-made, classic guitar. The body is solid, made from mahogany with a maple top, and the neck is thinner, which makes it easier to move my hand up and down. It has a nice weight to it without feeling too heavy. The pickups, a Burst Bucker 61, are at the neck and a 61T at the bridge are great for picking up all the little details in my playing. I noticed it handles soft and hard picking well, and the controls make it easy to adjust the tone. The wiring is done by hand, and these vintage style parts add to the overall feel. It's built well, with strong materials and a clean finish. It comes with reliable hardware, like Grover pegs, and a sturdy bridge. At about 9.5 pounds, it's not too heavy, but you still feel like you're holding a solid instrument. If you're after a guitar with a vintage feel that's also easy to play, this could be a good choice. It also comes with a hard case and a registration card from Gibson. I recently tried the Fender American Professional 2 Stratocaster, and here's what I think. The guitar has a solid alder body that's light and comfortable to play. The maple neck feels smooth, and the rosewood fretboard is easy on the fingers. The V-Mod 2 single coil pickups are a nice upgrade. They give a clear, classic sound with some modern touches. The new two-point tremolo bridge and cold-rolled steel block help with sustain and brightness. The neck has a supernatural, satin finish that feels great. Overall, 
The American Professional II Stratocaster combines a vintage sound with modern features, making it a solid choice for many players.